My name is Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. The Tea Party is a dynamic force. $700 billion bailout, $3.1 trillion, a trillion dollar stimulus, Obamacare, Obamacare, fully repeal Obamacare, job destroying cap and trade system. Obamacare, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Never say, oh, um, never say never, but I would venture a guess that the Republican Party would never choose Michelle Bachman to be its national spokesperson. Again, never say never, anything could happen, but seriously. Right now, Michelle Bachman is still the member of Congress best known for saying things like, the census might be a pretense for putting people in internment camps. Michelle Bachman is not the national spokesperson for the Republican Party, and she is unlikely anytime soon to be chosen to be the national spokesperson for her party. But tonight, Inexplicably, a national news network decided that they would give Michelle Bachman a job that her own party never did. On State of the Union night, the news network CNN decided to air the president's speech to Congress, followed by the official Republican Party response, followed by another Republican Party response from Michelle Bachman, a member of Congress who was not ordained to give that address by her party, but who simply made an arrangement with one Tea Party group to talk vaguely toward a camera uh, for a post on their website. But CNN ran it live on their network. They aired it on national TV, a remarkable act of journalistic intervention to elevate, in effect, a group with which they are co-sponsoring a presidential debate, to elevate that group to the level of the major parties in this country. Lots of people have responses to the State of the Union. Uh, Senator Rand Paul made a video himself and posted it online as his response. Congressman Paul Brown of Georgia made his response in this tweet. He said, Mr. President, you don't believe in the Constitution, you believe in socialism. Paul F. Tompkins had a really funny response to Michelle Bachman looking weirdly off camera for her whole response. He said on Twitter, quote, I hope they turn around to reveal Bachman is talking to a quizzical golden lab. Lots of people have lots of responses to things that happen on State of the Union night. But CNN decided tonight not to just cover the news about tonight's State of the Union, they decided to make their own by deciding that what was going to be simply the Tea Party Express webcast of Michelle Bachman, CNN decided that that deserved equal billing with the official Republican response. Now, depending on which angle you're looking at this from, this decision by CNN could serve to highlight the disarray of the Republican Party mixing their messages in response to the president. Or, viewed from the other side, CNN's editorial intervention here could have had the effect of positioning Paul Ryan as the reasonable center between the president and the crazy looking off into space Tea Party. Nobody quite knows what CNN was thinking in making this journalistic decision tonight to make themselves part of the story. But I am desperate to know what big Republican cheeses think about this. Joining us now is the immediate former communications director for the Republican National Committee, uh, my friend Doug Hyde. Doug, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Rachel. If you want to talk to a big Republican cheese, you got to find somebody else. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are I appreciate the, biggest, the compliment, though. You are the biggest cheese who returns my phone calls and will agree with me to go on TV. <laughs> my friends think I'm cheesy. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me about this. Two Republican responses to the State of the Union on CNN tonight. What happened? Well, I, you know, first thing, I, I thought you had a pretty good pun when you said that, uh, depending on what angle you looked at it, I actually watched it at the Tea Party's Express webpage, and she was looking at that camera. Apparently, the pool camera uh, was a bit off center and was what most people saw, whether they watched it on CNN or, or on other networks that streamed it on their webpage. Uh, but, you know, there are two constants that we see. If you, anybody who worked on Capitol Hill can tell you on State of the Union today. Uh, one is that Sheila Jackson Lee, Congresswoman from Houston, is going to be in a seat by probably 9 a.m., camped out to get, like, the yes. front row seat. And the Elliot, other... Elliot Engel, too, him and his mustache, <laughs> right there, locked and loaded, ready to go. Yeah. I, exactly. And, you know, the other is that uh, you'll have about 435 members of Congress and 100 senators really... Uh, uh, rush into Statuary Hall to, to grab as, as much media attention with local and national media as they can. This was obviously something a little different, but, uh, you know, I watched uh, Congressman Ryan's remarks. I thought they were fantastic. Uh, and, I, and I watched uh, Congresswoman Bachman's as well. I thought she was pretty well on point. And, um, you know, we welcome more voices. Isn't it a little bit weird, though, to have two responses run on a national news network as if they are equivalent? I mean, even if they weren't particularly divergent responses, um, 
I think there is some, this does call into question whether or not the Tea Party response is the authentic conservative response or whether the Republican Party really does have control over its own members and a unified message to sell to the party, doesn't it? I mean, to sell well, to the think, country. I think what's weird is, is anytime, you know, you, a political journalist hears the word Tea Party, uh, they, they tend to overcompensate for everything. You know, we, we still talk about Sharon Engel, we still talk about Christine O'Donnell, uh, but we don't talk about, uh, say, uh, Arlen Specter or Joe Sestak or, you know, Democrat candidates who lost. But when you attach the word Tea Party, that really brings things up. I remember you and I had a conversation uh, when I asked you uh, uh, back, I think, in June or July, what the media's obsession with Michelle Bachman is. It's really not about Michelle Bachman. The media has an obsession with anything labeled Tea Party, and I think we certainly saw that in the O'Donnell campaign. Do you think it was, um, do you think that CNN did the Republican Party a disservice by elevating this other response as if it was equivalent uh, to Mr. Ryan's? Well, I, I certainly don't want to ascribe motives to my friends over at CNN, uh, but, but I don't think it. I don't think it hurt us. Hmm. Uh, you know, I, I think the, the remarks that uh, the congresswoman gave were, were fine and proper. Uh, you know, I watched them with interest. And you know, as an old press guy, when when you when you watch somebody uh, doing an interview, you're furiously scribbling notes, looking for anything wrong. Uh, I think certainly over the last year, you know, you and I have talked about that I've done that a time or two. Uh, but I don't. I don't think there was a problem with it. Uh, but again, uh, whenever the word Tea Party is attached, that really that really uh, levels things. And we know that the media uh, uh, really likes to drive this. But I can tell you, having talked to uh, so many people on the Hill, Republicans on the Hill, over the past couple of days, there's no divide between our party. Our party's growing. Um, let me ask you about Paul Ryan's response. Paul Ryan, um, we were warned. Uh, tonight to expect sort of a, a rosy, sunny, Reagan-esque statement from him. I thought, while he was very good at delivering the speech, that it was a rather sort of, sort of an apocalyptic vision, a very dark vision of America as a failure um, with more failure to come. I, I saw it as sort of the opposite of what was advertised, the opposite of what was expected, and I saw it as a, a rather negative um, statement from the Republican Party for its official response. What happened there? Well, I don't, I don't think it was negative. I think we were talking about the real challenges this country faced, some of which the president uh, touched on. Uh, but we know that if, if this country does not grapple the debt uh, that, we've, that we face, $14 trillion, uh, that we have real problems. And, and we know what those problems are. And it starts with China. Uh, you know, the president talked about China and India, what they've done with education. Uh, I'd actually applaud a lot of the president's comments on, on education. But if we don't fix these problems, uh, they only get larger, and I think it was it was proper for Congressman Ryan to do that. That he does so in, in an engaging fashion is only a good thing for the party. Doug High, former communications director for the RNC, and still doing a very admirable, sunny, spinny <laughs> job of talking about Republican politics. Uh, Doug, it is always great to see you. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much.